It's your boy, Lamont Taylor Trucker, and we back with another another video on this beautiful wet Monday in Texas. Yeah, we are. We got here about 6.47-ish. 6.50, I can see. We went and checked in. And the crazy thing was, he told me to untarp while it was still raining. So, <laughs> and we had to tarp it here, but I understand it to talk it here because it was like a 500 mile run and if it's raining constantly it'll be too wet so i ain't really trip over that but you know the weather is the weather is flatbed so you can't complain about that but we here outside houston about to unload some lumber and i don't know what we're heading to next but yeah they had a, a tmc driver in front of me he already pulled around forklift java came around and got him but man much respect to him man if you watch this video thank you man he helped me uh fold up my tarps in the rain so a good man good man for tmc but yeah that's what i want to touch your bases on with y'all today i get back with y'all when i can thank you financially crushed it they got toward the latter years of their life they became terminally ill they put them in a facility to die so they're in this facility every single day they have a little time to where they could come out play games eat food drink some water just have a big time and two of the gentlemen they hit it off like they became big buddies so they asked the nurse they said nurse can you put me and my guy in the same room like we hit it off that's my guy she said sure and so she put him in the same room, and so every single day, one guy's bed was to my left, your right, one guy's bed was to my right, your left. And so every single day, nurse would bring him food, bring him something to drink, they would eat, they would drink, and the guy to my left, your right, his bed was by a window. And so his buddy on the opposite side would always say, hey man, tell me what you see out that window. His buddy would look up, he'd say, man, you know I see a beautiful skyline. Man, I see beautiful children running, playing, beautiful married couples walking, holding hands. Beautiful flowers. His buddy would say, man, thank you so much. Really help me. You know we're about to die here. One day, nurse came in, got with the bed by the window. was about gone. Ended up passing away. He died. She prepped him. She took him out of the room. As she's taking him out, buddy on the opposite side said, hey, nurse, can you do me one favor? She said, yes, what is it? Whenever you put my guy wherever you got to put him, will you please come back and move my bed by that window? I want the opportunity to look out of that window and see what my guy used to tell me about. It really helped me with my situation. She said, sure. She came back out two days later. She moved his bed by the window, brought him something to eat, something to drink. He got the strength. He lifted himself up. He looked out of that same window. And the only thing he saw was a big brick wall. He started yelling, screaming, nurse, nurse, can you come in? Nurse came in. What is it? He said, you remember my guy, right? She said, of course. So you should tell me about all these beautiful things. Like, can we please get this big brick wall removed? That really helped me in my situation. She looked at him, and she said, you didn't know, huh? He said, no, ma'am, no what? She said, you really didn't know. He said, no, ma'am, no what? She said he was blind. She said he couldn't have seen that even if he wanted to. She said, you didn't know every day he did it because he knew it brought you joy. So every day he did it because he knew it brought you happiness. Every day he did it because he knew it helped you with your situation. He's about to die himself, but he had a blind guy that looked out of a window and painted a picture that he couldn't even see because he knew it served as a blessing to someone else. And so as I leave you today, I have to pose the question, why do we really do what we do and where is it taking us? Like, what's the GPS destination on the end of our decisions and our choices every single day? Like, what is it really about? Because I think we all know when the rubber meets the road, when it's all said and done, like it's not about who got the best car. It's not about who got the biggest house. It's not about who stays in this neighborhood. It's not about who I know, who you, it's not about any of that. When the rubber meets the road, it's about two things. It's about who we become and it's about what we give. And I don't know about you, but when, when my time comes, I don't want to be forgotten. I want to be remembered. Me, cash, you like, man, that cat's so arrogant, right? You meet a cat, they got a little success. You're like, man, my man, arrogant. Meet somebody got more degrees than a thermometer, arrogant, right? Not realizing that, like, we do work at the homeless shelters, right? We do work at three homeless shelters we've adopted. 
right? And, and when I sit down at the table and I look in the eyes of a mother and her daughter, and me and my wife sit across the table and we feed them, right? I'm not looking at them and saying, oh, irresponsible. I'm getting up from the table, I'm taking their traits to the trash, and I'm like, bro, you one incident away. Like, one thing has to happen. You be the father in there, you're like, man, what you doing here? Man, house fire, lost my whole family. I'm in here, I got a job, I'm transitioning out. You meet a mother, what you doing in here? I'm running from domestic violence. It's the only place I can go where he can't track me. They can't post no pictures on Facebook. And so I got to be in here. And so you start to look at life with a different perspective. But if you're in a bubble and all you do is who all you do is go to a certain office, corporate office, you have your success, you sell what you sell, you do what you do, you make a little money, you walk around and you think like, I can't get touched. You think, can't nothing happen to me. I'm Superman. Man, light touch everybody. Every Currently unloaded, like I said in the video, heading out. That empty car, we just waiting to get some. <laughs> it be so funny, man, when you got a tarp below that they sit outside. But it's alright, though. I ride a tarp lumber. Number anyway, just in case when, when it rains, it ain't gonna be worth the shit once you get to a shipper, depending on how far you got. I mean, get to a co-sign in, depending on how far you gotta go. So I'd rather talk to things anyway, so. Ain't a big deal. I know more, a lot of people complain about it. But man, it is what it is. You probably most likely get paid to talk it anyway, so it don't make sense to complain about it. It'll show up on the paycheck. And they had a Melton. He was third in line behind me. And he just cut the whole line, tried to come up and get unloaded. But the forklift driver <laughs> told his ass come back. He tried to cut the whole line, man. But he got sent back, so. Then he had to wait to uh, the TMC driver and I got unloaded. That's the TMC drive right there. I'm about to pull up behind him, park and wait on a, a load. Well, we just got a load. I just got to put it in my GPS. All right, peeps. I'll check back in with y'all a little later. What's going on, gang? It's your boy, Demonte. So we just parked for the night. Show y'all what we got, man. A pipe load going to uh, Leeds, Alabama for tomorrow. We about seven hours and something away. So we'll get there roughly probably latest, one o'clock, 12, depending on traffic, 30 minute break and stuff like that. But it's a, uh, the Loves and had truck parking, so we parked at this casino truck stop. What well, they got a lot of food, uh, restaurants. They got McDonald's, Burger King, Waffle House. Uh, what up? They got Popeyes down there. So, yeah, your boy about to walk to one of these. Your boy about to walk to one of these and get something to eat. And then, your boy gonna get back in the truck, chill, eat, and upload this video for y'all. So, thank y'all for watching. Always, it's your boy, Demonte the Trucker. Stay tuned, baby. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demont, to the trucker. Thank y'all for watching.